got here early with uh, most of the crew, and we help run all these cables out, start testing all the cameras, testing all the audio, testing all the monitors, everything has to get tested. Yes, I can hear you. I love live TV, that's my favorite thing ever like to do. Like I love filming and stuff, but live TV is my favorite thing to do. Oh, it's live. Don't mess up, you know. One little slip of the finger and your shot goes from crystal clear to fuzzy. My main focus is going to be on Gihan, who's the leader of the Stags, and on uh, Rachel Fitz. Maris is a dominant team. This is uphill battle for the Stags. That's sort of the way we're going to approach it. Uh, my name is Ruby, and I am assistant graphics coordinator. I um, speak with the stats analyst uh, throughout the game uh, to come up with interesting stats and facts about the game. I keep track of scoring runs, scoring droughts, uh, any kind of specialty stats that the crew needs. All right, 25 seconds, guys. Everybody on camera, ready to go. If you have to go to the bathroom, it's too late. I just got off the phone with uh, uh, the network, and I'm in charge of uh, syncing up the clocks and making sure that they got our uh, satellite feed. Five, four, three, two, one. Take G5, roll G5. The Fairfield Stag are looking to bounce back from a tough road trip. All right, camera one. Against Max scoring leader Rachel Fitz. Uh, I'm going to need you to Maris give me a shot of Fairfield. Fair 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 All right, first place ball to yourself. Maris is the favorite for another Mac title. Two. The Media Center got this new piece of equipment um, that is allowing one of our cameras to be wireless so we can kind of free roam, go wherever we want around the arena. Staying competitive in these games and Coach Frager doing a, a tremendous job. And there you see Brian George is the head coach of Marist College okay, ready, in his ready, eighth wireless. season. And outstanding record of 186 and 59. So the ball is tipped into the front court and controlled by Rachel Fitz. Lobbed down low inside to Oliver. Oliver kicks it back out for Yard and she hits a three to open the game. And just like that, it's 3-0. Randy Gang, a 6'2 sophomore, also from Ohio. You have to keep track of every single basket made and who, who scored the basket and you know how many shots that person's made in a row. Or all. So there's different, a lot of different numbers that are running through your head. Peanut through the lane, runner is good. Fairfield leads by 161-60. My job's awesome. I have the best seat in the house. I'm on the baseline. I'm as close as you want to get. Yard with four to Allen's back. Allen's back floater or teardrop. No good. Rebound tip loose on the floor, and that will do it. And Fairfield holds on. They defeat first place Maris. I had a great time. I had a great time. Let's do it again. Let's get another W.